Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holofer YouTube channel. I don't know why I've started doing that, I just have. Today we have a bonus video. Wait, wait, if I'm doing this correct, this is Wednesday. We had a video Sunday, this is Wednesday. A podcast will come out tomorrow with Ant Scandinavia. Now I'm really putting pressure on myself to do this correct. And next Sunday's video haven't been decided yet. Oh my god, so much content. I am stressing out and I am actually not because I'm one week in front of my schedule right now. Hello everybody and welcome. Yeah, this microphone is really weird at the moment. Okay, either way, it's a, it's a little bit of a funny start to this video, I guess. But uh, hello, hello first, and welcome back to the Ant Hello for YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at my Campanotus Ligniperda experiment. We haven't checked on them for a while. Now we have the first workers, and how are all three queens alive? Has it worked out? Has it not worked out? Let's find out. But before we start the video, I just want to say that once again, thank you to Wakushi for providing me with these products. If you want to get something from Wakushi yourself, use this discount code and Holofer for 10% off your next purchase. Let's start the video for real this time. So let's take a look at the experiment. Right now the colony is still in this specialized Venus nest and looking at one of the colonies, this is colony B, we can see there are a little bit of movement down there together with some big things. What are these big things? Well, the colony has two cocoons and one worker. So when I initially saw this I was really scared. But I was also really excited because this was the first worker and I'm saying it was because this is in past time. These clips are around one to two months old. But I was really excited and really scared when I saw the first worker because I knew it was now or never that something would probably happen with the experiment. But this first worker was really cautious. I mean really cautious. I'm not really sure the worker ever left the test tube. I was really excited when I saw this the worker walk towards the exit of the tube, but nope. This was not her place and time. And after a little bit of recording, nothing happened. But if we look at the other two queens, this is Queen A with three larvae, so that's quite nice. Currently three larvae. Now as it stands, these are actually the only larvae. We have these two pupae and then we have three larvae with colony A. But I mean not, not too much to update on, the workers haven't visited her yet and she hasn't tried to escape yet. Now looking over at Queen C, we have zero, no, nothing, there's nothing going on at all. This queen right here, she had some larvae but then she ate them, so yeah. Anyway, this was around a month old. Let's look at the colony today. So immediately you can see we have all three queens alive and we now have all three workers enclosed out of their cocoon and ready to explore the world. Now, some of you may already see that Queen A, the bottom one, has lost her larvae. And that is because I never saw any workers leave the test tube, but then one day I just saw the, the larvae had been moved from Queen A to Queen B. So the workers have been inside Queen A's tube, took her larvae and dropped it in their own tube in the middle one. Now this was probably due to the queen always having her larvae really close to the nest entrance. And the workers just went in there, grabbed it and went out again. So I didn't know if this was a good or a bad sign. So after discovering this, I, I didn't know how to act. It was this good. Had they been fighting? I mean, they had been inside her tube and she hadn't killed her, so I mean, that, that is a good sign, I guess. But looking at the queen bee and her colony, we can see a nice bit of Trophiloxus. And as you can also see, the workers' gaster are really filled up. Firstly, when I got them, they were not happy to go out in the little mini outworld, but now they are out and feasting whenever I give them some sugar liquid. They're not that into protein, but they sure love their sugar. Now, if we take a look at Queen A, we can see her gaster is not that big. I am a little bit sad to inform you, but that it seems like after the colony stole her larvae, there haven't really been that much communication. I have seen one of two times a worker inside feasting this queen, so they have definitely made contact and she is being fed. 
but not nearly the same amount as Queen C. Queen C, she has a massive caster just like Queen B, and this caster is really big. And almost any time of the day I check, we have one worker in with this queen, so she's really part of the colony. And lastly, we have Queen B. She is the most fit, but it took around uh, three or four weeks before Queen C was around the same size, so Queen A may just be a few weeks behind in getting that big caster. I'm not really sure, only time will tell. But like I said, the colony have been inside Queen A's tube and stolen her three larvae. Now I was wanting to record a little bit of her larvae, but uh, the queen just said no, 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 I'm just backing up. So while I tried to fix the light, the queen decided that this was not my time. So I wanted to show how it looked with the different workers in the different tubes, and that always works by giving them a little bit of food because then they want to share through the Trafaloxes. And I thought, yes, this is my time to show that this worker's enters the tube. No, no, okay, she goes back to the cotton ball with some sugary liquids and keeps licking on that. Now, the only time I really see a worker in the tube A is after I feed them, but almost half the time I look at them, we have a worker inside colony C, so I was really hyped to record a little bit of this, because normally I just take a quick look through the red lid, but no, no, this, this was not my day, I should not record them right now, so I decided to let them be, but then I got back a little bit later, and we had one worker with Queen C, we have one worker with Queen B, so this is what I tried to say a little bit before, we almost always have a worker together with Queen C, and this is also why she's this fit up. I'm not sure if it's the same worker or not, but it just seems like she's a lot more part of the colony than Queen A. I don't know if Queen A has been a bit aggressive towards them without me seeing it. Now, back when I initially started the experiment and the worker started to enclose, I saw a worker enter the tube C with Queen C and she was quite aggressive, but the workers just really wanted to feed her. And I think she just realized she just wanted to be fed and yeah. I don't know, today at least the experiment looks like this. We sadly only have three larvae, but Campanotus Lignipurda lay a batch of eggs and then stop. And since the first batch of eggs, semi half got eaten and died, it's not looking like a fast experiment right now. But then again, to be honest, I'm not sure we have any more workers before hibernation. But all in all, it's looking pretty good so far. And yeah, Holofers, that has been it for this video. It's a little bit weird, I think. I think it's going good. I can't wait to see how this experiment will unravel itself and uh, see if it works right now. I'm really positive. My biggest fear was that when the two workers from different colonies would hatch, that would be a war. But now, now it's just one colony because the workers are just grabbing the eggs from the other two test tubes. So it's just one colony. So now I don't really know what to think. I think it's... um. It, ha it, lo it looks very positive, at least right here and now, but yeah, Holofers, that has been it for this video. Before we end the video, thank you to my members here on my YouTube. This is a little bit pre-recorded, so I'm not gonna lie, um, maybe we have got a new member? I don't know, but for now, thank you to Wakushi, Hufflefluffer, and Medical Car Case number 9. And uh, still, my I'm still on the list, I can't, don't worry. It's just for testing purposes only, directly testing purposes, don't look at that name. But yeah, Holofers, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, become a member today, if you like. And I will see you all in another video. Bye!